Hey, what's happening guys? Hope you're having a good weekend. Um, I thought today we would play around a little bit more with another single board computer. You're familiar with the old Raspberry Pi 3. And last week, you guys got to see the Codis Vim, which was powered by that S905X chip. Well, today we are going to play with an Orange Pi 1, which from what everything I have read is an excellent little single board computer, but it has a couple quirks you gotta deal with. Uh, the first one is none of the images on the Orange Pi website are any good. And everybody recommends you install Armbian, so we're gonna install Armbian. Secondly, it's very picky about power. And we look at this shit, it's got this teeny tiny little power jack and you can't power it from the USB. So well, Uncle Polly soldered some wires on there and we're gonna see if she works. So let's uh, get up close and personal here. All right, so here is our Orange Pi 1 powered by the all winner H3. That's an uh, Cortex A7 uh, quad core processor. I think it's running at 1.2 gigs. And then we've got a single USB 2 port, Ethernet, no built-in Wi-Fi, HDMI, SD card slot, camera connector, and a reset button. So I have downloaded the Armbian image, and the Armbian is, of course, just a fork of Debian. And we're going to install it using my uh, desktop power supply because apparently this thing when it first boots up is going to want to really suck some juice and if your power supply drops under five volts when putting out two amps it's not going to be any good so that's what we're going to do sit back relax and i uh, hope this works okay guys i know we're not in our regular spot here i had to move over to make some room but there we've got it we got the power there's an sd card in the slot there's the hdmi and a USB adapter for the keyboard. So I'm gonna power it up and we'll see what happens. Turn the light out here. See if we can focus on the screen. What do I need to do? Do I need to press the button? Hmm. Absolutely nothing seems to be happening. All right, guys, a little bit of research, and it turns out that when you're using an HDMI to DVI adapter like I have to with that monitor, you're going to have to log in through the serial terminal because you can have to change the resolution so we log in as root what the hell? root password one two three four there we go orange pi one welcome to armbian change password for root okay That was interesting. Let's just we can get back in there. Oh, it didn't like it. Okay, we're back in. Changing password for okay, what's the current password? One, two, three, four. New password, all right. Okay, username. I have to create a new username and password for me too, huh? Okay. Hmm. 
<laughs> a lot of this. Okay, I'll try it again. Yes. New password. All right. You don't need to know any of this shit. The information correct? Yes. Your display is currently set to change this. Yes. The following values are currently supported. Okay. So I think what I need to do now is sudo reboot. I think that may have worked. We'll find out soon enough. All right, guys, everything seems to be working good. Get logged in here. And we're in and everything is running. So next we'll move over to the actual computer and we'll see what she can do. Okay, we are in and this is our desktop. We have a number of applications here, run program, terminal emulator, file manager, web browser settings, accessories, graphics, internet, multimedia, Orifice system about XFC. There's our desktop manager. So it's looking pretty good. But I seem to have two desktops running here, which really makes no sense to me. All right, I'm going to try and find a. Um, a benchmarking utility and we'll install it on here and then we'll run this up against the Raspberry Pi all right so we're looking at VNC viewer here so we can see both of these little computers on one screen we've got the Raspberry Pi over here on the left and we've got the orange Pi over here on the right and I've got to say I did not find the orange pie difficult at all to set up. I mean, there, there was the one issue with finding out that, you know, I had to do something special because I have a weird cable. But other than that, it's it set up in seconds. It was, it was no trouble whatsoever. So let's start out with the, uh, the benchmarking software. This is hard info. And we'll come down here and we'll bring up the summary. Do the same over here. So you can see the processor on the Orange Pi is the ARM7 processor. And for some reason, the Raspberry Pi doesn't want to tell us what processor it has. Then we can see the memory. We can see the operating system and all that. So we're going to come down here. And we'll do a couple of benchmarks. And we'll see how these two uh, single board computers perform relative to each other. And well, I know the Raspberry Pi is going to perform better. But I just want to see exactly how close they are to each other. I will unpause this when the benchmarking is complete. Okay, so our Blowfish benchmarking is complete. And we can see the Pi comes in at 41.39. Remember, the lower number is better. And over here at the Orange Pi, we have 47.28 seconds. Now, like I said, the, the Pi is better, but, you know, they are, they are pretty much compatible. All right, let's do the crypto hash benchmarking. 
Okay, 32.64 seconds for the raspberry and 20.94 for the orange. And we'll do one more, the uh, Fibonacci sequence. And if we look up here in the Raspberry Pi, it's telling us it's only using 26% of its processor power. So that's pretty good. 12.42, 13.02. So, you know, what this is telling me is that these systems are relatively comparable. You know, granted that the Raspberry Pi is a newer system and is just a little bit faster, but uh, I find that to be pretty impressive. So the Armbian flavor of Linux, it seems to be pretty nice. Um, very, there we go, very similar to the Raspbian and you know, they're both forks from the Debian distribution. Now this uses a different desktop, but uh, you know, it's not bad. Bring up the file manager here and you can see it comes with Chromium installed, which is very nice. No, I can't type. I mean, you're looking at a slight delay here due to the VNC viewer, but that comes up quick enough. Yeah. And what I found really nice was this um, Ubuntu Software Center. You can bring that up to find all your software if you're not so familiar with the app to get command and then we also have this software boutique here and the software boutique will allow you to you know view some different software packages that are available and you can simply download them or take a look at them all kind of things, including some games. So for the price, I mean, I, I've got no issues with the Orange Pi whatsoever. Very nice little single board computer. And uh, I think what I'm going to do with it is put it in my son's room, running a retro Orange Pi. I think he'll be quite happy with that. All right, guys, we're handheld here. I apologize, but it's the only way I can get around and do this. So I have been running the um, benchmarking utilities on the Orange Pi, and I have a thermocouple hooked up. And you can see from the thermocouple, we are getting 47 degrees C, and our ambient temperature is 20.2 degrees C. So... What are we looking at there? About 30 degrees above ambient with just that little heat sink on the board there. That's pretty cool. Let's compare that with the Pi who's been also running the benchmark apps. There's the Pi. Okay, see we got the thermocouple in there. And it's showing us 39 degrees C. And of course, there's our ambient temperature. So the Orange Pi runs a little bit warmer than the uh, Raspberry Pi. But all in all, the Orange Pi 1 does not seem to be running that hot. Which was one of the things I was, you know, read and was warned about was that it was super hot. So for the price of around $20 American, I am quite happy with the little orange pie one and I think I will definitely get another one of these to play around with along with the proper uh, DC adapter so I hope you guys enjoyed this little look at the orange pie one if you did give me a thumbs up feel free to comment share and don't forget to subscribe that's it I'm out peace